while he may not have been as productive, and I think we all have to agree, he wasn't as productive, right, as he was in his early life, he became this iconic figure. I love, show the picture of the sandals. I love this picture. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, who can't love this guy? Those are actually, now we know from excellent research that he is actually wearing sandals that are a woman size 11, as confirmed by the man who <laughs> sold them to him, David Rothman in Suffolk County, Long Island. We had to get that in. But this is actually a, Great a, a kind of a tradition among physicists. Is that what you yeah. look like on the weekend? Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, good, mm. good you luck. take that down now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> There's so much. Those are your shoes, young lady, right yeah, there over you there. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Um, there is so much folklore around Einstein. I mean, I love the clipping from the New York Times where he says he's incapable of doing his taxes because they're so complicated. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, it, and political he, and he comment. cultivates that too. I mean, you right. studied this more than I, but he's well aware <laughs> of. Uh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. You know, he's well By aware of all these issues. Yeah, right. And uh, I think he enjoyed starting to, <laughs> starting the myth going forward. <laughs> yeah, so he, he, he kind of enjoys being a celebrity, right? I mean, he's no Kim Kardashian, but he's enjoying being a celebrity. Well, he didn't do Does book he? signing tours, but you know, there's lots of kids in Princeton probably still alive who he helped with their math problems. He was this kind of avuncular, as you say, genial person. I, I mean, I, I guess he did, you know, that's obviously Charlie Chaplin, and he, he would take an occasional star turn, but, you know, he never really left Princeton from 33 for a prolonged period of time. Yeah, that's the, uh, the premiere of City Lights, and uh, there's this famous, uh, probably apocryphal story where, you know, Einstein and Chaplin come in on the red carpet, and there's this crowd cheering, and Einstein says to Chaplin, allegedly, what does it all mean? And Chaplin says, nothing. <laughs> Which again is, you know, that, that story itself is part of the cultivation of the myth, the otherworldly man. Um, yeah, he, he, he did like being a celebrity, but he also used it. I mean, he actually made practical use of it. Um, one time when he came to America, he made reporters who wanted to interview him make a small donation to, um, to help with one of his causes. I think it was displaced refugees. Um, he obviously used his celebrity to do all kinds of, of attempts at political activism, including writing to Roosevelt mm -hmm. that it was time for the U.S. to start paying attention to uh, the atomic bomb. So, I mean, he, he, would, he, he was willing to be famous if it helped him advance causes that he believed in.